Alright, I'm just uh, doing a bit of cob today. It's coming along alright. It's labour intensive as always, of course, because it's cob, but it's going to make for a nice. So obviously, I'm going to make a door here and stuff and fill in all the gaps, and so this is going to should be fairly. Yeah, it's going to uh, absorb a lot of sound, this, because the turbine will actually have quite a noise to it. So this will actually absorb quite a bit of sound once I put a door in and fill in all the gaps and everything with cob. So that's, that's why I've used cob that and the fact that it's free. The wood was going to cost a bit of money and it's also kind of a bit of a... I kind of think of this little building here as kind of like a, a functional model because I plan on building a building like this but much bigger for like a garage carport type thing and I want to use all these skills that I've learned doing this for that so that's the reason I'm doing it like this, labour intensive but it's a learning process and I'm teaching myself as I go. So it's coming along, just mixed another batch of cob there, so we'll start putting a bit more on. This mix is a bit soggy so I'm just going to use it at the bottom here. It's pretty quick to put on, but it just takes ages to mix it, maybe it takes to mix it. So once you get it mixed, it's quite quick to go on. If I had someone mixing for me, maybe you'd be going in the way. But I'm just following along with it. Next couple of days, it'll be done. Right, I'm going to leave it there for now, for today, come back to do another mix tomorrow. Like I say I could just carry on all day but I just get bored of it so I just do a mix and I'm going to go and do some tidying up and work on the firewood piles a little bit. So I'll show you from the back here, it's starting to slump so let it dry off a little bit and then smooth it out once it stops slumping down. If I was to do it again I'd probably add more of these in to uh, so it doesn't slump so much. If you do a dry mix, it's, that's enough. I mean, if I was doing it in a house, I'd put more in because it'd be more important, but for that, it seemed seemed enough. And I think it is enough, it's just it'd be slightly easier to apply the cob if I had more of them. But it's coming along, it's looking awesome. Get it done in the next couple of days there. So I'll let that dry now, come back to it tomorrow, do another couple of mixes. And then on Saturday morning, hopefully get it finished, I think. So back to uh, doing some cob again today. Got my friend Hannah here with me, she's just coming down. And we're gonna set up a little time lapse here and we'll uh, film us uh, getting this maybe done today. We'll see, be pretty close anyway. All right. It's getting there. Time consuming, Hannah's just digging some clay over there. It's going to be pretty cool. Okay, we got quite a bit done today, me and Hannah. And uh, that wall still needs quite a bit of work, but the two side wall, the side wall and the back wall are pretty much there. So good progress. I'm a bit hungover, so we're not doing much more. <laughs> but yeah, that'll do for today. It's four mixes. We'll do some more another day. Let's get in there. Okay, so I added loads more laths to these ends 
especially on the back end and it's made it a lot easier actually less cob as well but that's why I built this building so I can learn you know best way of doing it Hannah's here helping me again <laughs> up there <laughs> it's looking awesome ah, I can see it so I have to go around and wire brush all the timbers again to clean them off but you know once that's done Pretty cool. Just got that wall done, need doing, and the uh, front, and then we're done. So there it is, that's sort of, that's mostly done now, there's a little bit more to do, I've got a bit more to do on that side wall because it was slumping at the bottom, I need to wait for it to dry out a little bit, but it's mostly completed for the, I wanted to get this video out for Christmas because I'm sort of, I'm not doing much work now up until after Christmas so I wanted to get this video out to show you, but that's, uh, that's it, that's how it's going to look when it's all completed, which will be only another couple of mixes, just take you around the front the front, so almost done, a little bit up there, a little bit on that wall, be done. So need to mount the turbine, need to figure out how the pipe's going to get in there, I haven't really figured that out yet. Pipe's going to be coming from up there, down through this channel and then into there. Uh, got to run a cable out of it all the way back to the shed, um, lots to do, but next video I think will probably be running a cable, getting an armoured cable put in and then I'll be looking at ordering the pipe then and then getting the pipe run once the pipe and the cable are in that's it, that's the, that's the system we'll be working then so exciting, pretty exciting so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and I hope you all have a, a good Christmas and that'll be me now, I'll be, I won't be doing much making videos until sort of the new year, something like that so like I say, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. It really does look like a really quite a beautiful building, really, considering what it is. I'm very proud of it. It's uh, it didn't need to be anywhere near that big or that cool or take as long as it did, but it looks lovely. And every time I look at it, I feel proud. So I'm pleased I did it like that. It fills me with joy every time I look at it. it really, just is lovely. All right, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.